welcome back to the Carmelite Quotes podcast, where we share Carmelite wisdom to encourage and inspire. In this episode, we continue our Marie du Jour series. In our last episode, we began exploring St. Therese of Lisieux's visit to the Church of Our Lady of Victories in Paris with her father, St. Louis Martin, and her sister, Céline. Today, we continue this beautiful story and delve deeper into the impact this visit had on the spiritual journey of St. Therese. Let's continue with the saint's own words about this visit to Our Lady of Victories. She writes, We reached Paris in the morning and commenced our visit without any delay. Poor little father tired himself out trying to please us. And very soon, we saw all the marvels of the capital. I myself found only one which filled me with delight. Our Lady of Victories. Ah! What I felt kneeling at her feet cannot be expressed. The graces she granted me so moved me that my happiness found expression only in tears, just as on the day of my first communion. The Blessed Virgin made me feel it was really herself who smiled on me and brought about my cure. I understood she was watching over me, that I was her child. I could no longer give her any other name but Mama, and this appeared ever so much more tender than Mother. How fervently I begged her to protect me always, to bring to fruition as quickly as possible my dream of hiding beneath the shadow of her virginal mantle. This was one of my first desires as a child. When growing up, I understood it was at Carmel I would truly find the Blessed Virgin's mantle, and toward this fertile mount, I directed all my desires. I prayed Our Lady of Victories to keep far from me everything that could tarnish my purity. I was fully aware that on a voyage such as this into Italy, I could easily meet with things capable of troubling me. I was still unacquainted with evil, and so was apprehensive about making its discovery. I had not yet experienced that to the pure all things are pure, that the simple and upright soul sees evil in nothing, since it resides only in impure hearts, not in inanimate objects. I also prayed to St. Joseph, asking him to watch over me. Ever since my childhood, I had a devotion for him that easily merged with my love for the Blessed Virgin. I recited each day the prayer in his honor, O St. Joseph, Father and Protector of Virgins. And so it was, without any fear, I undertook the long journey. Being so well protected, what was there to fear? Wow, isn't this such an amazing account? St. Therese describes the profound emotional and spiritual experience she had at Our Lady of Victories Church. The visit reinforced her devotion to the Blessed Virgin and St. Joseph, who she felt were watching over her and guiding her steps. With the Holy Spirit's help, the Blessed Virgin assisted Therese to comprehend the truth of her healing before the image of Our Lady of Old Silverware, the statue we've come to know as the Virgin of the Smile. This sense of protection and maternal care from the Virgin profoundly impacted Therese and nurtured her desire to dedicate her life to God under the mantle of the Virgin at Carmel. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Carmelite Quotes podcast. 
We invite you to share this episode with your friends, your followers on social media, even your family. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast. You'll get notifications whenever we publish on our blog or on any of the major podcast platforms. You can find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Audible, iHeart, and YouTube Podcasts too. And we also encourage you to visit the website of the Archives of the Carmel de Lisieux to read all of the writings of St. Therese and her family. Just visit archives.carmeldelisieux.fr. You'll find the link on today's podcast episode and on our blog. And for the published English translations of St. Therese's collected works, just visit icspublications.org. Visit our blog, you know, every day. To subscribe to our daily emails, you can just click Follow Carmelite Quotes button at the bottom of the page or enter your email address to follow the blog via email. And you can receive our quote of the day, plus our novenas, our feast day prayers, and even more besides. As always, our thanks go to Sean Beeson for our podcast music. Let's close with this thought. As St. Therese found comfort and protection under the mantle of Our Lady of Victories, may we too seek Mary's guidance and intercession in our daily lives, trusting in her motherly care. Until next time, blessings from Carmel.